Good evening, everyone. Your first forecast is brought to you by Stored at Home Rent to Own Portable Buildings. It was definitely a scorcher out there today. We saw lots of sunshine and temperatures were in the upper 90s. There were a few thunderstorms around, but overall, we did see mainly dry conditions. It's going to be dry once again tomorrow with the possibility of an afternoon thunderstorm or two. Uh, but overall, temperatures will be close to what we saw today. Readings will be around 90 degrees by your lunch hour and then in the the afternoon we should climb up into the upper 90s. We are going to see better chances of rain as we make our way toward the end of the week. We'll have details on that on, on ABC 31 News. Welcome to ABC 31 News tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. Today, members of all the civic clubs in Alexandria and the Pineville area gathered at LSUA. They do this once a year to learn more about the university and to mingle with members of other clubs. Spencer Martin is the chair of the LSUA Foundation Board for 2018 through 2020. And he'll be speaking about the LSUA Foundation and what it has done and will continue to do and plans for the future in support of LSUA. A woman accused of killing her husband in front of their child and stepchildren at a Walmart is now facing more charges. She's Kayla Giles, also known as Kayla Cootie, and is in jail on a million dollar bond. APD says she's now facing charges for domestic abuse battery and for theft, stemming from incidents on August 8th and September 5th. Now, the children were not harmed. They were entrusted to other family members. With elections coming up in November, Interim Secretary of State Kyle Ardwan spoke about information safety during election season, both for candidates and voters. Cybersecurity is one of the most important things that we have that we're working on uh, at this moment. Tomorrow we have a meeting with the FBI, the Depart Federal Department of Homeland Security, State Department of Homeland Security, and others, uh, other stakeholders that we can make sure that we are set and ready for the elections that are coming up. The important thing is that they need to be aware of any um, illicit activity on social media and report it to our office so that we can report it to our federal partners. It's very important that people um, utilize our website the Secretary of State's website uh, and the clerk of court and the registrar of voters. Go to where they know that there's good information and valid information before they start believing anything on social media. Don't, don't believe any weird text that you get. Make sure you validate the information you're getting. Ardwan is currently serving as Interim Secretary of State, but he is on the ballot to officially assume the job. Voting takes place on November 6th. The Food Bank of Central Louisiana and Southern Link have kicked off their 12th annual Connecting to Those in Need food drive. And the way this drive works is we work with schools in a lot of the, our surrounding parishes, not the Rapids and the ones right around here, but some of our outlying parishes. And so it's a chance for kids in those schools to support their neighbors in need. All the food that's collected in these parishes go to food pantries in that area. So we talk to the school, we find out what's the closest food pantry to them, and we take it to that school once, the, I mean, to the pantry once the drive is over. There will be a drawing to win a Kindle and incentives for students to participate, but of course the goal is to encourage students to help families and kids in their community. If you would like to participate, you can drop off canned goods at the Suddenlink locations in Pineville, Alexandria, Natchitoches, or Winfield. On September 29th, locals in support of finding a cure for cystic fibrosis will take some great strides. Well, Great Strides is the largest fundraiser, major fundraiser, that the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation has. This year is its 30th anniversary. Um, it's been in existence uh, and been, people have been walking to raise funds for cystic fibrosis for 30 years. Um, and we will be participating in that here in Alexandria on September the 29th. That event will take place at Holy Savior Menard High School. Registration is at 9 a.m. and the walk begins at 10. And the event will also have music, food, games, a jambalaya cook-off, and more.
Welcome back, everyone. We are expecting another scorcher for tomorrow. Those feel like temperatures, our heat index will be well into the 100s. 105 is what it could get up to. We could have a few pop up afternoon thunderstorms that could last into the evening hours tomorrow. Of course, that will help to cool things down by the end of the day. But uh, again, it's going to be much like today where it will be very hit and miss. Rain will become a little bit more widespread by Friday. So we have better chances of rain as we end the week and head into the weekend. And so that will help to cool things down for just a little bit. But our high and officially we're in the upper 90s, 94 for Leesville. And so you can see across the region it was definitely hot. And of course you factor in the humidity where the dew points right now are in the 70s. It makes th things feel so much warmer, about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than the actual reading. So that's what we saw today. Our future radar is showing whatever we have out there. A few showers and thunderstorms will continue to die down in the overnight. And then calm conditions tomorrow, but there could be a few afternoon thunderstorms that pop up uh, in the late afternoon and into uh, the evening. And there could be one that could be right over us tomorrow, so we still have that chance of rain. Of course, that brings back a little bit of cloud cover, and so maybe it'll cool things down by the end of the day. But we're going to see those hot temperatures for much of the day. Highs will be around 97 degrees. We start to drop back down though into the lower 90s. Our average high temperatures are around 88 degrees and we're going to be well above that for the upcoming days. So it looks like that summer heat will stick around through the end of the week. And of course, Saturday uh, evening will be the first day of fall or that's when we officially start fall. So uh, it looks like uh, weather is not really cooperating, but at least it will be a little bit cooler by this weekend. Tonight, temperatures will drop down to around 73 degrees in Alexandra and Otis around 74 degrees. Mainly clear conditions tonight. It will be humid. There could be a little bit of fog developing in the early morning hours as well. And then tomorrow we'll soar into it the upper 90s. There could be a few afternoon thunderstorms across the area, but like today, they will be very hit and miss. Uh, but hopefully we can see some clouds that will help to uh, keep things, keep those temperatures in check. But here's a look at your seven day forecast. We're going to start to cool down as clouds Clouds start to increase by the end of the week. 93 degrees for your Thursday. Humidity will also increase by the end of the week as well, and that will keep those temperatures from climbing up so high. So by Friday, we're going to see a little bit more cloud cover, a little better chances of rain, temperatures around 91 degrees. And then as we head into the weekend, scattered showers and thunderstorms possible for your Saturday. Temperatures only around 90 degrees in the afternoon, and then we'll be a little bit closer to normal by the end of the weekend as we start that first week of fall. So 89 degrees isolated thunderstorms possible in the afternoon and that will be the case as we head into Monday and Tuesday as well and we'll be near that 90 degree mark not quite as hot as what we're experiencing right now that's a look at your weather Scott Expect another sizzler for tomorrow with highs in the upper 90s, but if you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel well into the 100s. We start to cool down a little bit by the end of the week as the rain could be a little bit more widespread by Friday. We drop down to around 91 degrees, 90 on Saturday, and then 89 degrees on Sunday for that first full day of fall. So it looks like, you know, it's kind of in line with the seasons mm -hmm. there. Yeah, just seeing an 80 something on the board there is kind of refreshing after the last few days. Yes, <laughs> in the 90s for sure. Thanks, Kim. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.